Since we have three of them, let's do that. Goodbye, Edgar. <laughs> oh, okay, didn't completely kill him, but... Try that. Oh, man, we got the next level. Beautiful. All right, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental. We play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and uh, the game is generally set to the hardest settings. It is Horde Night. Uh, so I've just kind of been out and about looking for a few more feathers for our arrows, and uh, was hoping to come across a deer or some game, uh, but I didn't. And it is now time for us to get back to the base because it's uh, getting close. So we are working our way back now, and I'm just hitting uh, any bird's nest that I come across, trying to avoid the Zekers just so that we don't uh, expend any extra ammo, um, and the fact that we don't really have time to be messing with them right now. we got to get back. Um, we can now make the workbench, but I... Uh, I uh, need some more mechanical parts, and uh, I figure, well, we'll take care of that after the Horde Knight's over, because there's not really any reason for us to have the workbench before the Horde Knight, so we will take care of that after Horde Knight. Uh, wow, this is this is a little creepy. I mean, the the red, <clears throat> it seems to me like the, you know, the red is more hazy than it used to be. Maybe not. I might be mistaken for that. I'm not really sure. But it does seem like it's a little more hazy. I've been playing the dynamic music, too. And it, I've, I'm enjoying it so far. The The one problem that I have with it, though, is that it, it does kind of seem to play the same tune or, or a very similar rendition of the same tune over and over and over again. So, you know, after a while, you're going to start getting tired of hearing that. So it's not... Uh, not from that respect not quite quite as cool as i was hoping it would be but it's not bad at some point though i probably will end up turning it back off again just because you know i only want to hear that same tune for so many so many times and it you know it's it's randomly randomly generated music too which is pretty cool actually if you think about it but here again i don't want to listen to the same thing over and over and over either so one kind of downside to it as well is that it uh, sometimes it plays like little sound effect things that make it sound like you know you're hearing so like a zombie or something and so that can be <laughs> that could be a little uh, off-putting too I guess but anyway yeah we didn't find any game unfortunately but uh, we do have um, 38 more feathers which is good Looks like somebody in, is in the junkyard there. And after the Horde Knight, as I mentioned, I will uh, go out and wrench a couple more cars so we can get enough mechanical parts to get that tool bench going. Once we have the tool bench, of course, then we can start making ammo. And we can also make the cement mixer with level 2 of uh, advanced engineering. So we'll be working on that too. So the next Horde Knight, Horde Knight 14, will have access to concrete. So I don't know. I don't know how this base is going to work tonight. Um, we're just wait and see. But I, you know, at least I have. I kind of have a fallback plan. If it doesn't work, we can uh, at least, you know, try the fallback plan. And of course, if the fallback plan doesn't work either, then we might be in trouble. <laughs> so I just have to kind of wait and see how that goes. And I might as well take it since we're close enough to the base. My trees are coming in good. It does, The downside to doing this with the trees, of course, is it does block the view, so I have no idea what's on the other side. We're going to find out soon enough. We'll get, let's get this ready. Not planning on using any bullets during the Horde Night unless we get into a no-shit situation. I only have two magazines full here in our gun. So we have to save that for... 
emergencies. There's one other thing I was going to actually do, now that I think about it. Is let's run up here really quick. And I was going to um, add some more uh, quarter blocks, just kind of double this up, make it a little stronger. So let's go to here and here. Uh, pull centered. This is the one I want. And let's do a copy rotation uh, right here. But we've got to flip it that way. And we'll do the same thing there. There, 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 and there. And then get those upgraded to cobble. It would have been nice uh, if I would have been able to make a little bit of concrete, but I just didn't didn't have time. And I, I needed to go out and get a few more feathers so we had enough ammunition for tonight. There, so now, now that's doubled up and... Um, that'll just give us that much more uh, safety in case they, you know, they get there. All right, here we go. These are, have been fully upgraded as far as I can get them without going to steel. And I think we're about ready to, to try this hard night out. I've got a light up pretty much all the way around. You know what? Let's put a, a light down here, too. wonder if it would be better instead to put the light here yeah that that lights things up pretty good it does all right we need to go we need to get upstairs this will be my first time doing a horde night on alpha 19 very interested to see how it's gonna go Okay, so we need to grab our uh, other arrowheads and make as many iron arrows as we can with those. We'll put these mechanical parts in here really quick and then we got to get out there. Okay, it's on. Oh shit, you know what? I forgot to grab my pipe pumps. Oh, darn. Okay, we gotta run up and get those because that's part of my plan for tonight's uh, defense. Oh, listen to that music though. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's grab these and we'll put them there. Oh, wow. Um, that's not good. That is not good at all. It leads me to 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 think that maybe the maybe the um, gate thing isn't going to work. He doesn't appear to be hitting on the top block, but let's just get these upgraded just in case. See, the other problem that that could present for us is that they could pile up on each other, too. All right, let's get this. They don't they don't seem to be gathering around my little pit area, but that's partly because I screwed up and had to go back up inside, you know, to get my pipe bombs, so that wasn't a good start to things. I'm curious to see how he uh, got over those um, hatches. So let's see if he comes back up, if he just like jumped over him. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's exactly what he did. I forgot about something. There has to be um, a block above there so, so they can't get through. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We could, we can still do this for a little while, but you know, if, if we start to get overrun over here, um, you know, then we'll pull the wood frames up. But let's just leave them there for now. 
and uh, see if we can just draw some Zekers over here. I guess I guess the other good thing about the gates, though, is it does it kind of slows them down, so they can't all just rush me at once. So we got that going on too. Uh, but they are completely ignoring my little kill chamber. Um, instead, they're working on other areas of the building. And that actually concerns me greatly now that I think about it, because it means they could potentially get up through here if they break the walls down below. So let's go ahead and start making uh, preparations to, pre to prevent that, if that's in fact what happens. I want to be able to kill him though, so let's not block that part off. Actually, I'm going to have a hard time getting to him now, aren't I? Well, whatever. It is what it is. I know it's a little dark right here, guys, but I kind of can't do anything about that right at the moment. Actually, here, I have some extra torches. So if we do end up fighting them over here, um, we can put a torch down <clears throat> so at least we can kind of see what, what we're doing. Yeah, you know what? I should have left those open and done these instead, but... Okay, well... All right, there, some of them are coming over here. Some of them are coming over here, so let's get back to... trying this out. I'm not sure what just got broken up. Oh, they they broke the they broke the reinforcement on the wood block there. Here, let's get that fixed. Since they are hitting, in fact, we'll upgrade this all the way to cobble. Okay, sounds like they busted one of my quarter blocks, maybe. They don't seem to be hitting the one in the middle, they're hitting the one on the top, which is really interesting, too. Okay. As long as we can keep the, the pole upgraded and keep them from jumping up on each other's head, more or less, we could probably make this work and be okay. I should have uh, probably grabbed my hammer too, but that's okay. Yeah, they are not touching those blocks at all, which is good. I'm starting to think though that that, that double, you know, that double pole that I put out there is working against me because they can stand on it. Whoa, Edgar's like way up there. All right, let's try something here. Let's try something here real quick. Where are my pipe bombs? Right here. Okay. We got up to the next level, which is good. Yeah, that fell off the platform. Okay, let's try and get it, like, right down there so it doesn't fall down. Oh, shit, it keeps falling down. All right, we're gonna have to throw it straight on like that. We might as well use these since we have them, you know. I need to, I should wait till that we have a couple of them grouped up though. Okay, let's do some quick repairs here. This is working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that hatch thing on the next horde night. I just have to. What I forgot to do it was put, you know, a block above them so they can't jump over it. That was that that was my mistake there. I mean, it's it's working again from the standpoint that it's preventing them all from just, you know, rushing rush me all at once kind of thing. So. You know, it's helping somewhat, but it's not working the way that I had intended for it to work. Alright, so let's wait till we get a nice group of them. 
We'll use up all our pipe bombs and then we'll just melee for the rest of the night. Want to get at least three of them there if we can. Oh. And yeah, we got a bag. Nice. Okay. I'll take all that stuff. All right. Let's do a little bit of repairing here real quick. Make sure all that's still in good shape, too. Okay. This is working, guys. It's not working the way I had expected it to work, but it is working. So, so far, so good. If we just have one up here, I'm going to melee. So we can conserve our pipe bombs. He's down. Zombie yo. We learned uh, who all the zombies were uh, in our in that little special episode I did where we did the speed test. I knew who most of them were, but there was a couple I wasn't uh, sure about. So, Nurse Nancy. <laughs> a kneecapper. Sounds like a bag just dropped. Everything good up here? Yep. Okay. We have to keep those frames uh, repaired because otherwise we won't be able to just pick them up if we need to. But I don't think we're going to need to. We do have some Zekers banging on other parts of the building, which isn't good, though. We just have to hope and pray that it holds up, you know? All right. So it looks like we got an, an, a few in. So yeah, I, I'd like to try this this again on Horde Night 14, assuming we survive, and we you know with a, some modifications. So we got to prevent them from jumping up there, and we've got they've got to have a block above their head, so they can't jump over the hatches, right? And then the idea is I just stand here with my my bow or you know my gun or whatever I have and just headshot them. Okay, so it is, um, that's probably just splash damage from the pipe bombs. Uh, it's 1220. So, so far, so good. I'm wondering, though, do they break the ramp so they can't get up there now? It's not kind of looking that way, isn't it? Nope, the ramp is still there. They're just, their AI is trying to figure out a different route to go, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why the hell I didn't <laughs> think think that I I didn't need to put anything up above uh, on the hatches. But you know, the the one thing that's pretty evident is they're not attacking the hatches at all, oh, or if they are, it's very minimal. Yeah, see that hatch doesn't need to be repaired. So yeah, this could work. We just need to prevent them from you know being able to to jump over the hatch. So we're gonna try this again on day fourteen. Uh, and every and I should be able to have everything upgraded to concrete by then too. All right, is that is that all of them? We might have just killed the horde, guys. It didn't happen the way I wanted it to go down, but it went down pretty good, all things considered. I hear somebody banging, but that's probably just a normal Zakaruski because it sounds like he's over in the other building. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, I can't complain, right? <laughs> I mean, we, we survived. That is the important thing. We survived. This, uh, this little idea here was pretty much worthless. <laughs> I mean, they, they were like, you know, they're smarter now. And that's a good thing. That's a really good thing, actually. They're smarter now. They're, they're not so stupid that they're just going to stay right underneath me and just run around in circles and let me drop bombs on their head so you know definitely 
definitely have to come up with newer, newer tactics now here at Alpha 19, and I love it. I think it's fantastic that the Zekers are getting a little smarter now. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to say Horde Night is officially over. Uh, well, at least, you know, for the zombie spawns. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to hang out here for a little while and just double check and make sure we don't get any more waves. And maybe that zombie that's agitated will break through and come over here and we can kill it. And then uh, the next plan is going to be that we have to go after more mechanical parts so that we can make our... Uh, we got a duck bill mod. Uh, so that we can make our um, workbench and also get a cement mixer going because we'll need mechanical parts and electrical parts, I believe, for that. Is there a bag down there? I thought I heard a bag drop. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, guys, so I'll bring you back at some point later on uh, here on day eight, and we'll go from there. Oh, hey, you know what? We got a point. We got a point, and we're well on our way to the next point. So that means we now can make the mini bike. All the more reason why we got to get that workbench going. So let's go to Intellect, and let's go to Grease Monkey 2, Mini Bike Master. Oh, man. That's going to be a game changer for us, guys. That is going to be a game changer. It always is, you know, when you finally get a vehicle. So, all right, I will, uh, I'll bring you back uh, here in a while, and we'll, uh, we'll do the next thing. Don't go away. All right, guys, we're back. It is almost morning here. And uh, so I went over and wrenched, um, I wrenched a shopping cart, a car over by the ga oil company. And then I thought maybe what we'd do is we pop in here uh, to the junkyard and, um, you know, get the cars here and maybe even see if we can uh, do this POI uh, for the rest of the episode. So let's go ahead. I killed, I killed, oh shit. I killed two Zombos uh, getting in here. And uh, I've got a little a little platform right out there in case, um, you know, we need it. But we probably won't need it now because we could probably just jump up on the those things there if uh, another Zeker comes around. So let's put wood frame there. And we'll, have it, we'll just have it here ready to go so uh, we can, you know, jump up if we get chased. No, let me rephrase that, when we get chased. This is actually better than what we're wearing right now. So let's take it, and then that's not really worth anything uh, for selling purposes. Uh, and it doesn't look like it has a mod on it either, so we'll just scrap that. Okay, cool. So we got a little armor upgrade there. Not bad. Take that stuff. Our main our main purpose in being here though right now is is again just to get the um, uh, the rest of the mechanical parts that we need so we can make the workbench, the mini bike, and the cement mixer. So let's scrap that there. Where is my oh, I don't have my my pick with me, do I? Okay. What's this? Ten percent more damage to vultures. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love doing ten percent more damages damage to vultures. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Oh shit, that was close. She must have been um, just outside. I'm guessing. Oh, off with his head. Ronald McDonald's head just popped. Okay, so we got her out of the way. It's actually good that we're waking up the sleepers now because, you know, then uh, we can deal with them more easily out here. I'm not sure exactly where that one's at. I wonder if she's in this room that has the safe. Hey, speaking of which well not speaking of which i just i just want to jump up here really quick and make sure there's no sleeper rooskies up here they can come up that way okay so we're clear up on the roof 
I don't, I've never seen a sleeper spawn up on that that roof, but they can spawn on this lower one. There's actually a workbench in here. But I would rather, you know, now that we can actually make it, I'd rather have it in our, our base. Okay, let's go down here. Just trying to see if there's any other sleepers out in the yard. Because we've got three cars here that we can loot, so... I'm not so sure I want to even try and break into the safe in there right now because you just, you don't get anything worth it, you know, this early in the game because of our game stage. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about her at the moment. If she does rush us, we got the AK. Because she's obviously uh, caught probably inside that inner room and still trying to break the door down. So let's go ahead and uh, put this up. No, we want to put this down here. And we're going to wrench these other three cars and the gas pump there. And that should give us a pretty decent amount of uh, mechanical parts to, to build what we need to build. So let's open this first. I'll probably check on top of the... Oh, wow, nice. We already got one engine, but we'll take another one. Actually, we need two now that I think about it, because we need one for the cement mixer and for the mini bike. Um, I'll probably go ahead and check all the loot on top of the dumpsters, too, because there's a lot of trash and stuff up there. We could probably get some more lockpicks and stuff like that. I thought I heard a bunch of running footsteps, like running horde footsteps. <laughs> you know, if she whacks that, that uh, gas can, it's going to explode. We never really had a chance to use our bow on Horde Knight, the way things went down. But, like I said earlier, I'm not complaining. I mean, we, we survived first first, and we still made a pretty good showing of it, uh, you know, killing the Horde. Which it just didn't go quite the way I had planned. Alright, so she's out of the picture. Let's pop in here real quick and just uh, see what's what. Yeah, give me my arrows back too there, Arlene. Man, they sure made her look stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she's just dead. The, really, the only thing they need to do is remove the banks. If they remove the banks, then, you know, that should be all right. But, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Cloth from that. Yeah, we're not not even close to messing with that. I mean, how many lockpicks do I have? I have five. We are game stage uh, 18. Yeah, let's just wait a little longer. I think... I don't, I don't remember. seems to me like I read it somewhere, but at some point we get into the mid-tier with our game stages. I'm not sure if we're there yet, and then we can start, you know, finding shotguns and r real ammo and that sort of thing as opposed to blunderbuss ammo in, uh, you know, in safe. So maybe what I'll do after we're done with this episode is I'll just, I'll research that a little bit and see if I can, and I'll just read the patch notes because I think it's, it tells you in the patch notes, and then... Once we hit game stage two, uh, I mean, sorry, tier two, then we will um, start thinking about doing safes. All right, well, the other thing is we're freaking running out of space, too. How many mechanical parts do we have? We have 13. What did we need for the workbench? We need a total of 20. And I have a few back at the base, but we also need for the mini bike, uh, we're going to need four. And four. So we need another eight for the mini bike and then for the cement mixer, which is the least important of the three at the moment, we need ten. So yeah, I don't think we're you know, we're not gonna get them all in this this run because we have you know, we're so encumbered. So let's take these guys apart. We need some electrical parts too. And maybe what we'll do is we'll poke our head into the to the garage or the workshop place and you know, look and see if that workbench actually works. Not that it matters, but even if it doesn't, <laughs> even if it doesn't, um, we can take it apart and get some decent resources from that. Is that the college jacket? It is. Wonderful. Okay. So this gives us 10% run speed. It's too bad we didn't find this before we were about ready to <laughs> be on the mini bike, but... Um, 
I'm going to take it. I'm definitely going to take it. Um, these will just scrap and probably use it, but we're going to keep the duster too because we're going to need the duster for, for the desert when we eventually find one. Uh, so we'll hang on to that, but I think we will actually wear that and then let's take the pocket mod off of here. Another thing, you know, that we need mechanical parts for is the triple storage mods, uh, which I, you know, we found the schematic for that. So lots of things we need those for, for sure. Let's go here, modify, and put this on. Excellent. Okay. 10% run speed. That'll help. That'll help compensate a little bit for our, um, you know, our slowdown with the armor that we have. We do have a sleeper, I'm sure. I'm sure he's in uh, this other room in here. I just don't want him to, to come around and come through that window to get us. But it doesn't look like their AI is trying to do that. We got two Edgars here. All right, let's get that sledgehammer out and get to whacking here. Where is my sledgehammer? There it is. Oh, there's three of them. You know what? If we have three of them... You know, that music does make things a little more nerve-wracking, I have to say. Since we have three of them... Let's do that. Goodbye, Edgar. <laughs> oh, okay, didn't completely kill him, but it softened him up for us. There's still three there. Try that. Oh man, we got the next level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's deal with uh, purple Ronald McDonald here. It's just because of the, <laughs> the, the exit light above his head. Come on, man. We don't got all day. We got mechanical parts, so we need to farm up. You're, you're holding me up, dude. See what's in here really quick. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for now. Might as well grab that since we have a bunch of them. Not sure what's going on out there. Okay, so this room is completely looted. Uh, like I said, let's go... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop off a few things because we're just too damn heavy right now. I'll get all the stuff up there off camera, and if I find anything significant, I'll let you guys know in the next episode. Let's just get in into here. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Let's get into here, see what's in there, and then we'll wrap it up. Pretty sure we've cleared everything out, because we were throwing pipe bombs earlier. That pretty much would have woken anything up, right? At least that's the theory. If I'm wrong about that, well, we've got our AK ready. We should be able to get some steel off of that transformer. Okay, let's just see. Does this actually work? It does. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Well, okay. Let me think about this for a second. Our base is right there. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't take much to travel over here to use this. Uh, you know what, though? I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, I, I would have done that earlier if I had not have taken um, Grease Monkey 2. Or not Grease Monkey, but uh, Advanced Engineering 2. But since we have it, and since it's not really that expensive to make, I'd rather just have it in our base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one apart. We'll get some good stuff from it. Let's just loot the other things, and then we'll wrap up this episode, and then I'll finish here at the junkyard off camera. Um, okay, that's definitely something we want. We don't care about the chrysanthemum. Take that. Uh, we got a bookshelf. Um, <laughs> it's no, it's no good to us now. Damn it! All right, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. We'll sell it. We're hungry too, aren't we? Let's uh, pop a bacon and eggs. Okay, we'll 
take that. I'll salvage that later. More brass. All right, guys. I think that's just about it, except for, again, uh, the stuff outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the base and drop off um, everything that we currently have. That's nice. We might use that later. And then come back and salvage and uh, pretty much salvage and loot every, you know everything that's on the bin. Uh, then I'm going to go back, make the workbench, probably get the mini bike made too. And then if we have everything we need, we'll also make the cement mixer. If not, then I'll start the next episode with the mini bike. And we'll just, you know, we'll go out and wrench a few cars and head towards our quest um, now that we'll be able to get there quickly with the mini bike. okay? So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.